Hello well, guys, so what I want to show you today, I want to show you how to um, set up a, a backyard net um, as uh, winter is coming. So I know a lot of people like me uh, spend more time at home than going to the range. And um, so basically uh, my setup is quite easy. Um, all you need is uh, a net and a tree like this one. So first, um, I, what I'm looking for, I'm just looking to have a flat area like this right here. Because um, otherwise that's gonna make it uh, too difficult to hit balls from. So, so for me, the area will be right here. And then basically um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the net on the tree and just gonna tie it up. And then I'm gonna get a, a, an old mat to hit from. Let me show you. So it's a little messy here, so I'm gonna just clear up a little bit. Okay, so as you can see here, um, I cleaned this area up. I mowed the lawn in here, and um, everything is ready to to set up the net on the on this tree right here. Okay, so here we have it. Here's the net. Um, this one uh, is pretty sturdy. Um, I would not chip out on the net. Um, I one time I ordered this net that was really thin, and uh, the problem with it was that it's just the balls just. After a few hits, it just went through. So you don't want to get a cheap net. So just invest in one of these. I'm not sure exactly how thick this is, but the balls will now go through here. So, and this one is uh, two by two, I guess, in meters. I'll just get this. And uh, actually I tied a, a rope here and I'm gonna tie it to the tree. Um, the yeah, one thing you need is a ladder, so... Okay, I'm almost done setting up uh, the net. Uh, another thing that you want to you wanna do is uh, buy this little fabric. And this is where the ball is going to make contact. Uh, uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, hitting just directly to the net. I think it, it could wear out. So I got just uh, just a piece of fabric. And uh, what I do, I just put it right in the middle where I can hit the ball. Okay, so it's pretty much done. Um, the uh, piece of fabric is right in the middle. Now the next thing uh, you need is uh, a mat. And in my case, I have an old mat that I bought. Uh, it's not very good quality, but it's just uh, uh, one meter by one meter and a half. And it's just this old mat. Okay, so it's done. Um, it's not the best setup, but um, if you're working on your swing uh, during the winter, um, uh, I think it will be great to have in your backyard, um, especially if you're working on a swing change or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't overdo it because, again, uh, you don't see the flight of the ball. You can't see it where it goes. But um, but if you are working on a swing change, I think it's, it would be pretty good to feel uh, the contact of a real ball. So let's see how it works. hope you enjoyed the video uh, basically all I did is just uh, just a tree I hooked it up uh, I hooked up the, uh, hooked up the net uh, from one end to one side of the tree and then the other end to the other side and fixed the, the two parts on the bottom to keep it stretched and just an old mat basically that's all you need
Well, thanks for watching and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, hopefully this is uh, helpful to you if you're planning to set up a net in your backyard. Until next time.